All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So as some of you guys might have seen in the in-game news, the Battle of God story event is finally going to be getting a revamp on Global with the next celebration. And I want to say it's going to be as soon as tomorrow, which is also when the Fizz Beers banner should be dropping too, but we don't have an official release date yet, so it might be like a day after, but most likely, most likely tomorrow. All right, so in today's video, I want to give you guys all the relevant details about this story revamp so that you guys are all fully prepared and ready to go once it officially drops. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And uh, why don't we start here with the release date? So it came out on March 3rd, 2020 for JP, and it should be June 5th, 2020 for Global. But once again, nothing official, so we'll see. And why don't we also read this story synopsis real quick, just because, uh, why not? So it says, four years have gone by since the battle against Majin Buu that risked the fate of the universe. The God of Destruction Beerus has awoken after 39 years of slumber to find and do battle with the Super Saiyan God appearing in his prophetic dreams. Beerus and his attendant Whis decided to pay a visit to the remaining Saiyans on Earth, but encountered Goku training on King Kai's planet. So... Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys already knew about that, but just in case, for anybody that hasn't seen the movie, there you go, that's what happened. I mean, also the beginning of Super, I guess. But anyways, uh, the next thing we should do, which is something that is, I think, very important to a lot of people, is do a count for how many total Dragon Stones we can expect from this story revamp. Now, as always, with these revamps, with these renewals, even if you guys did the old story event, you can still re-clear the entire event and get all the dragon stones again because it's technically like considered a new story event so uh let's do a quick count here we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so eighteen total dragon stones just for clearing the stages and then from the missions we get one two three more so one for getting the free to play goku to sa10 one more for dokening awakening Dokening Awakening. For Dokken Awakening uh, to Godku, or is it Dokken Awaken him to the Super Saiyan Goku? Anyways, fully awaken the free to play Goku, and then also uh, one more for clearing any stage with at least one Realm of Gods character, which shouldn't be too difficult, right? So in total, we're looking at 21 free to play Dragon Stones from this story event, which is pretty good, man. That's pretty good. That's almost as much as like a new Extreme Z battle. Obviously not as much. Extreme Z battles usually give you give you around 33, 34 with the missions, but 21 for a story event is actually very, very good. So 21 more stones towards uh, either your Fizz Beer summons, which I think a lot of people are gonna forego, gonna skip, and uh, more likely towards your five year anniversary summons, right? So 21 stones, really solid. And uh, some other things to note here. I mean, there's not really much else that is that exciting about this event aside from the token awakening to this free to play int super saiyan goku by the way if you guys are curious about what that beeping sound is it's my uh, water heater all right so that's what that is it's not the fire alarm we're good but <laughs> this free to play goku is getting some token awakenings actually two awakenings and oh by the way forgot to mention increased drop rate for this event realm of gods category so make sure you guys run, obviously, as many Realm of Gods units as you possibly can to get the best drop rate possible, right, for all the stages. And, yeah, aside from that, I don't think there's much else to talk about here. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, nope, got your medals, got your... Uh, I mean, you got some, you know, training items, stuff like that, but I guess you guys aren't that hyped. Uh, these support items are not the greatest. So I wouldn't necessarily, I mean, they're okay, you know, like, I'm sure they have your, their uses, but I, they're not really, like, used too much on, like, you know, Legendary Goku events or Super Battle Road, so I wouldn't worry too much about farming these. And let's move on to the Goku here. So, this Goku obviously existed on Global before the revamp, but he token awakened from this R Goku, this R base Goku that dropped from the event, and this R base Goku is actually going away completely. So if you guys are collectors, right, you want to have every single unit in the game, then make sure you get at least one copy of this Goku today before the event gets renewed and he disappears forever. You'll never be able to get him again, all right? So make sure you get this guy 
just one copy, lock him up, or maybe get him to SA10, whatever you want to do, and uh, just keep him in your box for that collector, I mean, for collection purposes, basically, right? So yeah, he's going away, but this Goku gets a Dokkan Awakening into the first farmable free-to-play Super Saiyan God Goku. Now, the thing that pisses me off, honestly, is the fact that this story revamp came after the UI Goku banner has been out for a couple weeks now, right? So um, a lot of people that pulled UI Goku and couldn't wait had to use Kai's, right? Or, I mean, you could technically use the summonable SR White Hot Face-Off Super Saiyan Goku, who Dokkan awakens into a god Ku, but he's still not free to play, right? Um, so there was no way to like technically farm a god Ku. Uh, and now we have one, but like I said, the LR god Ku, or technically the LR UI Goku, but starts off as god Ku, you know, a lot of people have to use Kai's, which is dumb. So I'm pissed. I mean, it doesn't really affect me that much because I just use some like other summonable god coups that I had saved up, like the AGL one, the STR one, but I'm just like mad for some people who had to waste Kai's, man. Anyways, there's the god coup who Dokkan awakens from this int SR Goku, and uh, going over his details real quick, Realm of Gods category key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%, or tech and int types key plus 1, HP attack and defense plus 30%, uh, supreme damage for the super attack, and passive is attack and defense plus 50%, recovers 7% HP at the start of the turn, plus an additional attack plus 50% with 5 or more key spheres obtained. Uh, link skills, or link set, warrior gods, super saiyan, or winner flash, kamehameha on the family, and godly power. And categories are realm of gods, pure saiyans, koku's family, super saiyans, and kamehameha. So uh, yeah, pretty decent free to play unit honestly. And uh, what else is there? I mean, as you can see, it says, can be farmed to raise super attack of other Super Saiyan God Goku cards. Would have been pretty useful, you know, like two weeks ago. But I mean, I guess there's still people summoning for the God Ku or the, the UI Goku. There's still going to be people pulling him, you know, around this time. Hold up. Is the banner going to be gone when Beerus drops? Maybe. I don't, I'm not really sure when the UI Goku banner is actually going away, so... It might be just, like, perfectly, like, time to miss the UI Goku banner, which would just be dumb i don't know man it just they should have dropped this before or at the same time as the ui goku banner in my opinion okay so moving on to the token awakening to the super saiyan goku now so the god ku awakens into a super saiyan goku and uh his leader skills realm of gods category key plus three hp attack and defense plus 40 percent or tech and int types key plus two hp attack and defense plus 30 percent super attack causes supreme damage with a medium chance to stun and passive is attack and defense plus 59%, recovers 10% HP at the start of the turn, plus an additional attack plus 59% with 5 or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 59% when there is a Realm of Gods category enemy. So in, you know, certain circumstances where you're facing Realm of Gods enemy and you are able to get more than 5 key spheres or 5 or more, um, he's getting a really big boost actually. What's the... What's the math on this? I guess it's not calculated separately, otherwise it would say here, so... You know, you're looking at something like... 100 and... Uh... <laughs> quick math. 177%? That, that works out right. I think it's 177%. It's early, guys. Alright, don't blame me for the, the, the bad mental math if it's wrong, but 177% attack, I believe. Also recovering 10% HP. Um, pretty decent, yeah. I mean, these free-to-play units are all getting really good. He's not, like, the best free-to-play unit we've seen recently, but, um, definitely solid. Definitely, you know, a decent addition to any of these teams if you guys are newer players and need just, like, like a filler, right? Uh, links are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Kamehameha, on a family, on in the family, Shocking Speed, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Super Saiyans, and Kamehameha. So, there is the Goku... I mean, we do have a lot of Super Saiyan Gokus in the game, so as far as, like, you know, super attack farming purposes, I wouldn't necessarily awaken him all the way. But uh, if you want to just, like, get him done for, once again, collection, or if you guys actually need him as a filler, then he's not bad to, you know, get done. But uh, I'm most excited, honestly, for the fact that we finally have a farmable god coup on Global after all this time, and... I mean, it just would have been nice if he came a little bit earlier, you know? So, uh, there you go, guys. Those are all the details you guys need to know about this upcoming story revamp, new farmable god coup, um, and also the free dragon stones, 21 stones in total. I think that's pretty much everything 
uh, new with this event. Just making sure I don't miss anything else. Nope. Um, Realm of Gods increased category drop, and uh, most likely coming tomorrow with the Furious, with the Furious, with the Beerus banner. All right. So there you have it, guys. That is today's video. Thank you very, very much, very, very much for watching. Came and talk right now. I don't know what's going on. And uh, hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys are excited for the Beerus. If not, then hope you are excited at the very least for the upcoming five year anniversary. Only about a month to go, guys. About a month to go. So get ready. All right, so that's the video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out